When I was 15, I experienced um, some online bullying. I started getting some emails um, from someone that I didn't know. And it started off kind of with just this person knowing um, who certain friends of mine were or the way that I'd walk home and who I'd be with. Um, it escalated from there. There were two girls. Um, one of them was taller than me and one of them was shorter than me. And the sh one that was shorter than me would make fun of me because I was short. There would be these three girls and they would tell me what to do and if I didn't do that then they would get really mad at me. And it wasn't like it was physical, it was like emotional kind of thing. He would say that he could see me showering and uh, he'd go into detail about uh, different body parts of mine and the worst it got when it escalated um, the emails I was getting would be more frequent and he asked me if I wanted to be raped and then killed or killed and then raped and his response was he wanted to rape and kill me so that he could hear me scream his name so at that point I knew that um, I couldn't keep like keep it a secret anymore. I, up to that point I hadn't told anyone. For me I felt when the girls were bullying me like I was nothing, like people didn't want to be around me and that they didn't really like me. I knew it wasn't true but it was starting to get to me. I was feeling really um, angry and kind of sad at like because I didn't want this to happen. I didn't want people to do this to anybody. It was hard, um, especially when I wanted to talk to my friends. I couldn't because the girls would be around and I'd say, can I talk to them? No, we're busy, go away. So, yeah, it was hard. I was very scared. I slept with a knife under my pillow. I was like looking over my shoulder at school or on my way home. I'd always make sure I was walking with friends. So I lived a lot in fear in those weeks. I would react by either ignoring them or saying something back to them because I felt I had to defend myself. I would stay home um, some days because it was too much. But... When I finally got the, like, the scariest email, I had told one friend and she gave me 24 hours to tell her mom or or to tell my mom or she would tell hers. Within like a few hours, the, my mom had called the police and they were in my living room. At uh, first, mom would tell me to tell the teachers or tell the principal, and I would. But the principal would say, I'm too busy right now, and the teacher would just say, don't do that, guys, it's not nice. And they wouldn't stop doing it. Dad got really mad and went in to talk to the principal, and and the two girls were expelled. When the girls came back to school, it was um, okay at first. Then they started coming back to me, saying rude things to me. I had no clue who it was. It ended up being um, a teenager a few years older than me from my church youth group. He was quiet, he kept to himself. He didn't really have a lot of friends. Um, but he also was, the way he interacted with people was kind of aggressive or, or hands-on, like playing sports or activities that were non-contact. He'd make them very full-on contact. I think the other girl bullied me because she was the oldest and she figured she could um, get away with it. She also had older brothers that would bully her, so she figured that she could bully people and it wouldn't hurt them. The one question that I wanted throughout the whole thing was, my question was, why me? Like, why was I the target? And he, his reason was because I didn't pay attention to him. I do think about the person, I think, more so not knowing where he lives or do are we in the same city, the same neighborhood? I'm not sure if the bullying has stopped or not. Uh, they're at a different school now, so... <laughs> I, f <laughs> I 
If I had something to tell him today as a 25 year old woman, I think I would probably just say that I've forgiven him for that. Um, it wasn't easy at the beginning, it was, it was hard, but um, that I don't live in complete fear anymore and that, that, I'm, that I'm over it. I tell them that I forgive them and that God loves them. And that um, it's okay. But it's not that it's it's okay that um, they feel the way they do, but it's not okay that the way they're treating people, and it's not nice to treat them rudely.